Well, I didn't think this would happen again. Hi, it's me, Roger, and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while. Seeing the way everyone is freaking out about these Drag Race promo looks for Season 5 of Drag Race UK, I thought, girl, let me get in on this. Let me put my tongue in this. Now, a lot of these aren't actually as bad as they look. That sounds terrible, but like everyone's kind of gagging and being like, oh no, they're all horrible. But take them apart one by one. They're actually quite nice. Go with me here, I promise. So let's jump to it. Don't know what that was. Little chair dance. I always remember, drag is never really that serious. My opinion, I'm sat here at my desk with my laptop and my phone in a ring light. My opinion ain't that sacred. My opinion don't matter to anyone that much. I'm sat here doing RuPaul, half drag, with me shorts on, chilling on a Monday night. So let's all take with a grain of salt anything I say this mean. It's all my own personal opinion, okay? I ain't getting in trouble again. Remember what happened after season two? Mm -mm -mm. So off the bat, you're looking at Vicky Vivacious right here, and all I see is ostrich. Like, if I see ostrich, I just think money. I think the cohesion of the whole thing is quite beautiful because you've got like the the hat coming at a slant, but then you've also got the ostrich feather, the dress on one side, just kind of uh, mirroring the hat and the elbow. I think it's just really beautifully done. The disco dot on the fabric is so subtle as well that the fabric has that metallic shine to it, but it's not as harsh as a sequin. The hair with the earrings, the circular of the hat. I think it's gorgeous and I love just the one slit for a leg, just a big sexy bit of leg. Looking at it, there's nothing I would really change, like besides the, the straps of the, the neckline, I think that's the only thing that makes me uncomfortable but I also don't know what else I would do with it. I think it's definitely one of my favourite looks. I couldn't find um, any credits to who made this or designed it but whoever did, beautiful. I would wear it, it's gorgeous. Now this is Tamara Thomas. Now, whatever the brief was, whether it was sweets, sweetie wrappers, chocolates, whatever it is, this seems to convey that storyline and I think it's done with a hint of fashion to the point where it's camp, but it's still so effective. Like, I think it's very well done. But of course this is very well done because it was done by Trashy Planets. They are an incredible designer. Um, they also did uh, Black Pepper's promo look for the last season um, of Drag Race UK and also did so much work, so incredible work with um, Charity Kiss. It's given me the vibes of, you know when everyone was doing those tulle dresses where it was like all ruffled and then it had the cinch waist and more tulle at the bottom? It's given that, which I hated those tulle dresses, sorry Lexi. This fabric, like the cellophane fabric, it looks like a sweetie wrapper, and obviously the metallic fabric underneath, like the layering of it all, I think, again, it's, this is just beautiful. The hair also complements the, the train at the back. I feel like you do lose a little bit of body with this silhouette, but I... I Again, love it. And the shoe, I, I have nothing to fault with this, you know. I wouldn't wear it, but I, I, I have nothing to fault about it. Actually, no, I lied. I found something I don't like about it. The train at the back, the little tail at the back, is all creased and ugly. Like, it's all, not ugly, but like, it's all like, um, creased and I, it's distracting. That's my one thing. I have to find something, though. We are on to Naomi Kotoa. Obviously a Beyonce fan, Stan, big fan. Not me, Naomi. <laughs> Don't cast me, I'm not a fan of Beyonce. This look, I am not the biggest fan of. Um, obviously, we're in this era now where if you see a Bang London, you know it's a Bang London, and my head automatically compares it to every other Bang London thing I've seen. And they're doing bits, they've done a lot. I don't like the pattern of the tatsu. Um, I personally wouldn't wear it. But again, a whole look, it looks beautiful. Styled by Vodka, killed this hair, it looks incredible. I don't know, I just, it's personally not one of my favourites. I wouldn't wear it. This is one of these outfits from the promo look that I don't know where the concept was going or what the concept was. The fur with the rhinestoning, with the nude mesh, the, the these orange sleeves. It may be just a reference that is really, really lost on me, but I don't understand the concept. And I think that's why. It's not one of my favourites. That being said, head to toe, she looks beautiful. She is also one of these girls that paint. Like, I love her mug. You can see her personality in this outfit as well, which 
a lot of people can't convey their drag or their personality for an outfit and I think looking at Naomi in this like you can see that she's a good time kind of gal I, I love the vibes I do I just don't understand the concept does she look beautiful absolutely now this is Michael Maruli. I had to do a bit of digging for this one. This was designed by a designer called Monica Bereza. Apologise if I've said that wrong. Again, this is one of the promo looks that I don't have a clue what's going on. There is so much happening that even if I try to dissect it and pick it apart and look at different bits, my head just doesn't understand. You've got like diamante fringe from the hips but then you've got these chunky things and brown fur on your grey fur on your arms I it, it is lost on me a lot this designer is fabulous like she is great at everything she makes everything and it all looks incredible um, she also made Vivian's uh, spiky look um, for All Star 7, which was also beautiful looking at this costume on Michael the boot and the bodice I understand where it could have went or where it was going but I there's so much texture and so many different shapes going on that I, it's just, ugh. I've heard lots of good things about Michael, um, also love a drag artist with a boy name, hi. If the hair didn't have as much colour in it, I feel like that could have went so much better, but I, I, you lost me with all the red and the, the arm things, I, I, I don't know what's going on there. And there's also these thing, these things coming at, um, their shoulders as well, I don't know what that is, I can't zoom in on it, but. I, it looks like octopus tentacles and then everything else looks like it's meant to be a snake. Uh, yeah, I'm very confuffled by this one and I'm not a fan and I wouldn't wear it. <sighs> Just whilst I'm here sweating, slandering some bitches. Make sure you buy my lovely merch. Now this is Kate Booch. I know I said there's a lot of outfits that look good as standalone outfits when they're not part of the promo, but this one is too much all at once. Yeah. It's giving me dinner lady. Dinner lady goes to the prom. I don't know. But she's got jewels on, she's got a ring, she's got a matching necklace, she's got a nail on. She's not got a bracelet on, which I think is gorgeous with this outfit. It's very clever with the silhouette and the, the sleeve situation. But I just think, again, there's a lot happening. The texture on the trousers, which I don't know if it's actually meant to be there or not. If it was, it needs more. I love this one sleeve. Um, rouged up here with this cut and then this one drapey sleeve. I do love that, but it lost me at the trousers and this weird little thing on the hip. Now I do know that Kate Booch made this herself and looking at their social media is very evident that she knows her own style very well. And let it be known, it is very very hard to do your own style whilst um, abiding to a concept or a theme. Very very difficult, so I do commend her on being able to show her own style through this promo look. I can see going for her Instagram how this would be a elevated version of her own drag and to that, I salute that. I salute that, I do. Personally I would take parts of this concept to be fair. I like the outfit in a sense of the top half is kind of gorge and I love the Two different kinds of sleeves. I know I think it's just the pants that are really just from the waist down it's driving me a bit crazy like I'm, 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 I'm lost. I'm lost in this, this Kate Butch vision. Unfortunately this one isn't one of my favourites. Do I think she's shown a true vision of who she is as a drag artist? Absolutely. Did she make it herself? Absolutely. So well done. Don't know why I'm saying well done as if my opinion means anything. Oh, no, this one ma this makes me uncomfortable, this one, because I have a lot of things to say. Purple and orange are so beautiful together. Gorgeous. And this hair is phenomenal. Um, I don't know who done it, but it looks great. The top half is gorgeous, but it does look like it's something that she had in the wardrobe already and says, okay, I'm going to wear this and make some pants. It, the aesthetic in my brain driving me crazy is that the top purple and the bottom purple don't match. I, I, I can't tell if that's a white shoe or if it's like a pale blue shoe, but it's it's drawing me away. If that was a purple shoe or even black, I suppose it kind of goes with the buttons on the shirt a bit. I don't know. I don't know. As its own look out with the promo, even with the promo, this one blends in. I wish it was more this was on like the runway I don't think this would get great reviews but again the hair is beautiful I looked at some of their videos of what they do and they're fantastic it all looks beautifully made as well it looks clean like it is gorgeous um, and it is in the middle range of my favorites of these promo looks it's just not pizzazz again just the pants the trousers these campy queens seem to be wearing trousers and losing me very very quickly 
This was like a like an open like a skirt open at the front, and it was kind of all wavy and rouged. I, I would I would buy into it a bit more. She does look camp. She does look amazing. Her personality shines through, and I honestly can't wait to watch her on this season. To be fair. D D. So this is delicious. Now this creation is beautiful. This is probably in my top three of these promo looks. This again is another Trashy Planets outfit and for Dee Dee as another queen who sews all her own stuff, I can imagine how nerve-wracking and how difficult it is to ask someone else to make you something. But this is stunning. Stunning. So again, Trashy Planets made Black Pepper's promo look. Um, they've done Tamara Thomas's and Caramel's for the season also. Um, they're just an all-round fantastic designer. Like their creations are beautiful. Like the texture and the detail that goes into their costumes, like it blows my mind. Like I'm in awe of their outfits. One of the things I notice and love most about Dee Dee's costume is the shoe. Like even the shoe has a drip to it. There's like drips in the right places for me, like on the neck, subtly on the shoulders, the sleeves. Like, ugh. It's the little details that get me. I love the little details. She has brought simplicity with a great silhouette, but there's so much texture and so much um, detail in it. It's got the ruffles of the hip. The one thing I get rid of is the lace. I don't know, would I? Oh, I think I would, you know. I get that it matches the, the drips of the sleeve. I just realized the armhole looks like a vagina. It looks like my tortoise's vagina when the little thing comes out. Why am I talking about tortoise vagina? Anyway, I don't know if this choker situation is necessary. I get that it hides the breastplate and all that, but it's a bit big for me. I feel like if it's a little bit like thinner, it would accentuate the cleavage situation. Just the little details if I was to wear it myself. I, it is just one of my favourites, you know. One of the best on the promo. We are with another Trashy Planet promo looks. We are with the gorgeous Caramel. I'm just in all. This is the perfect kind of branding. Like your name is Caramel. It is like a sweet quality straight whatever theme with this promo look is. She is obviously went go for Caramel. Like I think that is, I love branding. So I think it's genius that she has went for this golden goddess look and the hair again style by vodka crushing this. The base of this wig, the sculpture, like the shape of it is just Stunning, like it is beautiful, and then the long ass ponytail. Like, come on. The only thing I will say negatively about this is I don't know if it's meant to be a nude illusion, and the catsuit seems to be a bit bright. That is my only critique. And again, it might not meant to be, it might meant to be this, it might meant to be, it might meant to be. It makes so many things contrast. But again, one of my favourite looks on this promo. I think my looks that I'm enjoying the most are the ones that are quite, like, one colour palette. And it's got, like, slightly different tones. Like, Dee Dee's was beautiful. Caramel's is beautiful. Tamara Thomas. And even with Ginger Johnson, even though it's two different purples, it still kind of worked for me. But yeah, Caramel's is gorgeous. I personally wouldn't wear this because this is so not me whatsoever. No, there's no way Roger could pull this off. I actually, like, bumped into her uh, last month in a club on Canal Street and obviously had no idea because I'm oblivious and try not to read it. In passing, always, always so nice. So it was nice to finally speak to her and I hope she does incredible on this season because I feel like we might get some good looks and hopefully some good lip syncs. Not that I want her to do bad. <laughs> Whilst we're here, little self-plug promo moment. Come see us do Roger Presents downstairs at the Brewers. We're doing a Halloween show on Friday the 13th of October. Um, on Canal Street, we are doing a gorgeous Glitterfy Presents takeover crossover situation for Halloween. Now, Glitterfy is a monthly alternative drag cabaret in Deansgate, run by my gorgeous friends Glitter King and Misty Fi, who will both be joining me with their amazing representative Uma Loop. Whilst I've also got Tonya Knees and Venom on the lineup, and the incredible winner of New Union Slightly Late Battle. God, it's a gorgeous cast, isn't it? We have Jenny Tolls joining us as well. So please, get your tickets now. We are 50% sold out, to be fair, and there's not a lot of table seats left. That is Friday the 13th of October, Roger Percent, downstairs at the Brewers, hosted by me, Roger. Here we have Alexa St. Pete. So stunning. So stunning. The metallic fabric that's going on here is beautiful. The hair on that face and the makeup, I think she's... Mm -hmm. This is another one like Kate Butch. There's just 
a few too many details for me. I get that they all have a sense of purpose and they all have, they all add something somewhere, but I don't think it all needed to be there personally if I was going to wear it. This is all just my own interpretation. This is my opinion, like my personal taste levels. I enjoy all these edgy cuts, so like the leg um, comes up into a point and then also the sleeves have a, a narrow point as well. Again, it all, again, point the shoulders gorgeous. In the videos, in the Meet the Queens, it does look a bit flimsy, but in the promo shoot, the photo looks stunning. It looks gorgeous. Just wish maybe the, the cross straps and the little hip peplum -y bits weren't there. I think it would be so much more beautiful, so much more cohesive, um, because the arms already tie into the skirt, which then tie into these bits, which then tie into the hair. And you've got the shoe as well. I, I just think it was that little hip bit that was doing it for me. I don't think this girl has an earring in. I don't know how to zoom in. Girl, she doesn't have an earring. Does she not have her ears pierced? Is there something going on? Oh, mama. Fair, yeah, the more I zoom in, the more beautiful she is, and I feel like really bad having anything negative to say. This is also created by a Manchester designer who is absolutely phenomenal, called Lloyd James. They have dressed Sminty, they did Sminty's promo look last year, they've dressed Cheryl Hall, they've dressed Cheddar Gorgeous, like, they are fantastic at what they do. And obviously, come on, rep Manchester. Another little detail that I love about this is the little trim of the metallic on the glove. So seeing a little bit more reflective fabric under the little hip part, so I feel like there could be more to this costume that, like, the layers that I'm not seeing. But the shoes are either sparkly or stones and I love that. I feel like it's very difficult to say I wouldn't wear this because there's elements to the silhouette that I have made before. This as its own standalone piece I wouldn't wear because there's so many things I would edit for my own personal taste. Again this is one that looks way better standalone than in the promo shoot. I feel like in the promo shoot it gets very very lost as a standalone thing when you can actually appreciate all the little details. It's stunning. Our Manchester Queen! So next up we have Banksy. Looking at the promo, the first thing I thought was Quality Street. So when I imagined Banksy portraying this red Quality Street, the layers on this dress and the bits on the end, I kind of deconstructed it into my own interpretation of what the concept was. Do you know those red sweets in the Quality Streets? The plastic is all layered over and twisted. This dress is doing that for me. I like the shape, it's just like the little circles and then it comes out into the points. It just gives, I just want to twist her open. It's just so beautiful, and Banksy's gown is the only one that doesn't have a hint of metallic or rhinestone to it. it the only kind of rhinestone situation is these gorgeous beads coming down from this crown, which is stunning. The earrings, the makeup, it, it, it's Banksy, what do we expect? This dress is made by another Manchester designer, Malone Fashion. Sorry if I said that wrong, Malone, Malone Fashion. They are everywhere for me right now. I've been seeing more and more of their work and it is stunning. They've just had their first fashion show I think as well and oh they're beautiful. They're gonna be, they already are, but they're gonna be well known very very shortly I assume. Cannot wait to see the fashion because with a body and silhouette like that they could wear anything, anything, but I hope and pray it's all as good as this promo look. Let's be serious, of course it's gonna be. I was meant to move on to the next one, but I'm just staring at this dress, like the ruffles and the layers are just absolutely stunning. Would I wear it? Yeah. Could I get away with it? Absolutely not. Looks far too delicate for me. Love Team Banksy. Well, there we have it. That is my opinions on the Drag Race UK Season 5 promo look. Let me know what you think. I know we all kind of got a little bit of a shock seeing them all together, but what do you think now seeing them all broken up individually as standalone garments? How are we feeling? I personally can't wait for this season just because I know there is a few queens that are going to bring looks to that runway. And I also can't wait to see all these queens that I don't know. No idea. I have no idea who they are. No idea what they do. Besides looking at their Instagram briefly. I'm a liar, okay. But I cannot wait to watch this season. And I can't wait to watch Banksy on TV because she's got like beautiful. Thank you for watching. Make sure you order your Roger fan if you haven't already. Give me a DM. And I'd say I'll see you soon, but I probably won't. Let's be serious. Come to Roger Possess. Come see my show on Friday the 13th of October.